Hello everyone and welcome to The Curve, brought to you by T-Mobile, where we bring you the latest Grandmasters news on Curve. Not only are we kicking off a new season of Grandmasters this week, but we also kicked off a new expansion. Scholomance Academy has shaken the meta to its core with its library of powerful cards. And with players only having a few days to get to grips with the new meta and to commit to their deck choices for the week, the pressure was on. Druid and Mage were expected to feature in many lineups, and they did, but the lists were varied. In the battle of the builds for Druid, it looks like Survival of the Fittest did the best job with their over 50% win rate in more than 170 games. Mage was heavily featured across all regions, especially in Europe, where it had a 100% bring rate. But did it perform? Well, with it just about scraping a 50% win rate, it definitely raised a few questions. With such a complex deck to pilot, there is potential that the players just didn't have enough time to practice the deck to unlock its maximum potential. Or, it simply could just be that the deck isn't as powerful as people initially thought. All we do know is that our Grandmasters only have a short time to work it out before they have to submit to week 2. A special shout out has to go to Bloodyface from Americas though, who dominated with his stealth rogue, going a whopping 9 and 1 with it over the week. Just like in Season 1, the players have 3 weeks of Swiss tournaments to battle through to decide who gets placed in that Division A or Division B for the round robin segment of Grandmasters. In the Asia Pacific region, we had newcomer Bank Yugi, Surrender, Chonsu and Tyler make it to the top 4, with Bank Yugi taking down the two Korean powerhouses Surrender and Chonsu to take the win, and kick off his first season in the best possible way, banking a total of 8 points. Meanwhile, in similar fashion to last season, the French lead the way in Europe, with Blyzer securing the number 1 spot, taking down Yala first and then RDU in an intense finals. All eyes are going to be on the Frenchman in week 2 to see if anyone can be the immovable object to Blyzer's unstoppable force. The only region not to have a new Grandmaster in the finals was the Americas. It was Muzzy and Language Hacker facing off in the final, which ended in Muzzy taking a 3-1 victory. But, although Hacker lost, he did manage second place with a unique lineup, including Big Warrior and his version of Galakrond Warlock. And with only a short amount of time to prepare this past week, I do look forward to seeing what he can conjure up for week 2. And that is going to be it from us at The Curve this week. We are kicking off this new season of Grandmasters and it is very, very exciting. But if you did miss anything, make sure to go to playhearthstone.com forward slash esports to catch up on all the news or any matches you may have missed. But thanks a lot for watching and from us here at The Curve, we'll see you next time in the Tavern.